This week's exotic animal is the veiled chameleon. Come on in, welcome to the Envirodome. We're going to meet Dahlia this morning, she's a little veiled chameleon. Have you ever seen one of those before? No. No? She's sitting just up there, she's wondering where her food is. Have you noticed the way her feet are? See how our hands, we've got four fingers and we've got one thumb. Her feet, she has three toes fused in one direction and two in the other. And her eyes can move in two different directions at the same time. So she can look all the way forward to see if there's any food, in, any insects that she can catch to eat. And then her other eye, she can look all the way back behind her head to see if anything's coming to eat her. So Louise, are they reptiles? Yes, veiled chameleons are reptiles, which means they need an external source of heat to be able to warm themselves up. Do they change colour? Yes, they definitely change colour. They change colour very, very quickly, probably quicker than you can click your fingers. They will change colour, not so much to blend in with their environment, but if they start to get a little bit scared or worried or upset, she'll start darkening up very quickly. So she'll change from her green colour to an almost black and she'll start getting white stripes. She will flatten her body and she will puff up underneath her chin and she'll open her mouth really wide. It's just to scare any predators off that may be thinking of eating her. Okay, so now for the fun part. Now we get to feed Dahlia. Then we reward her with the cockroach. There we go. All right, I'm going to pop her over this side. The cockroach ready for you. You'll be fine. Ugh. I need you to hang on to the bottom of the cockroach because the cockroach's first instinct is to wiggle its front legs to try and get away from you. And that way she can lock both of her eyes onto it. So when she shoots her tongue out, she can grab it straight away and pull it straight back in. So how many babies can they have at a time? They lay between 25 to 30 eggs at a time. And it takes about seven to nine months for the eggs to hatch. And once they hatch, there's no parental responsibility whatsoever. The young just look after themselves and start to find their own insects and they can start to eat pretty much straight away. So how do they make babies? Well, the females are very choosy in um, picking their mate. They like to be able to see all the males that are out there. So when they're actually captive bred, they will actually walk males past the females exhibit and watch what colour the females turn. So if she starts going a black colour, she's not very happy and she doesn't like him very much. If she goes like a, a blue colour, that means she likes him. And that means they can actually put the boy in with the girl into the exhibit and then hopefully some eggs will be produced. Thanks Louise for showing us Dahlia. You are welcome. It was wonderful having you here today. To find out more about Camille, go to the Zoos SA website at zoosa.com.au.